uh, in this segment, I wanted to visit a little about getting a horse to operate by um, your body weight and feet uh, instead of just your reins. So a horse isn't just totally rein dependent. Well, for one thing, why would I even want this? Well, for one thing, I mean, it gives me quite a bit more control over my horse. Why would I want more control? Well, um, I used to be a cowboy, and your job depends on it, really. And um, I like to rope now, and uh, for roping cattle off a young horse, I mean, it, a big part of your success is going to be determined by where you can put your horse, right? Where you can take advantage of the animal so you can get your best shot. So, for, especially for roping calves, especially on a young horse, I'm stuck with just one hand on the reins. If I have this in there, I got two feet and one hand. The other hand's up here doing the roping. And I'll like try to handicap myself sometimes where I don't use my reins at all. And, uh, and, and on the back up too. Anyway, let me grab something that's um, quite a bit greener like, and um, show you how I might get some of this started. I'll tell you a little history about this mare. She's um, started her about this time last year. I didn't, but I had somebody start her at a clinic and then turned her out for the summer and last winter I got her in and probably I rode her off and on, but she's really green, real gentle, but really green. And if she puts a little slack, even that, I'll take it. The whole key to this is recognizing and rewarding the very slightest of tries. And if you can't recognize it, you can't reward it. So 